everybody welcome to the you gonna eat that crust podcast stuffed crust edition i'm your host with the most on the ones and twos you know they call me evil shed you know they call me mount crushmore it's your boy ryan wilson with me tonight my homie for life my friend of friends the sweatpants overlord follically challenged himself greg howie greg what's good everything is so good i'm in the best mood i've ever been probably I'm lovely. Great. Sure. I am. I'm fantastic. Absolutely. Ah! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, unfortunately, Seamus couldn't be with us tonight. He is out fusion splicing. <laughs> so futuristic of him. Does that sound like a superhero origin story or fucking what? Or fucking what? Dude, a guy's just fucking out there. You know, you can picture Seamus standing on like a cliff, you know, thunder and lightning in the background. He's holding the cords together while fucking some other guy fusion splices behind him. He gets struck by lightning. He develops powers. What are his powers? Going back to the future? Is he Doc Brown? He lactates mustard. Oh, shit. Yeah. With the power of love. Absolutely. Not helpful in a battle scenario, but a good party trick nonetheless. It's helpful if you have hot dogs. <laughs> and you like mustard on them with a little bit of ketchup and maybe some relish. How about never ketchup? Gross. What? Dude, what everyone you, who what knows you, Jeremy anything Allen about White? hot dogs knows you don't put ketchup on a hot dog. The fuck you don't. You don't, dude. That's I, horrendous. I ketchup on steak, dog. I hate you so much. I'm just joking. I would never do that. How do you get your steak? Bloody. Do you? I don't no. believe you. I get it medium. All right. Well, we're not here to talk about bloody steak. Wait, we're not? I researched the wrong topic then. Well, hot dog. Hey-o. Tonight, we're going to talk to you about a genre of film that's uh, quite titillating. We're talking about possession films tonight. Greg, what are your thoughts on possession films? Uh, I like them. Most of them. Uh, some of them scare me a lot. Uh, some of them are fucking stupid. I, hot take. I hate paranormal activity. Ooh. Well, we'll talk about that a little later on, Greg. Okay. But I want to start out by talking about maybe the only new horror movie I've seen this year. Uh, and it was Late Night with the Devil. Uh, I thought it was a very special horror movie. I think it's something that you only see come along, you know, uh, once in a once in a great while. Like it was almost like almost for me the same level where Blair Witch is at because I'd never seen a movie that was quite like this movie. Greg, what did you think? And now by new movie, do you mean two thousand twenty three? That's fucking new for me. I'm old. <laughs> I don't get out much. I liked it a lot. Um, it was definitely bizarre and out there. But I love uh, David Dashmalashian or however the fuck you say his name. Dashmalian. Dashmalian. Something like that. Polka Dot Man. Yeah, oh, nice. I, I, I forgot he was dots. Polka Dot Man. Yeah. He was awesome. He had his, the mother issues. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Um, no, I liked it. It was cool. I liked the way they shot it. The way it was like very 1970s. Obviously, it took place in 1970, but just the whole vibe of the movie, um, even when they went like commercial and they like showed the, you know, the backstage. It was all stressed out and shit. Yep. Uh, Some of the characters were absolutely ridiculous, but, uh, you know. Oh, absolutely. The fucking psychic. Yeah. Oh, what's his (laughs) name? Uh, Christo, Christo or something like that. Ah, something like that. Yeah, I probably should have looked it up at the very least, because that's what a good 
podcaster would do, but I'm just I'm gonna do me. I it is it's Chris though. I got it right here in front of me. <laughs> all right, sick. Uh, yeah, I mean, I I love the uh, the the build up to the actual show where they're talking about like how he keeps trying to compete with the other late night shows and he never quite lands it. And all of a sudden he just kind of goes in a Jerry Springer direction. And uh, just the whole setup to that was awesome. And I mean, some of the shit that they referenced in there, like right towards the end of the movie, the girl's like, you know the deal you made when you went to the Grove. And I don't know how much you know about Bohemian Grove, but it's a fucked up scenario over there in the Grove. And it shows him like at the Grove and shit, making a deal to fucking have a successful show and... He pays a great price for the deal, Greg. He does. Yeah, there's a lot of cool shit ha- happening in the background as well, like with the crowd and like you yeah. kind of never knew what was going on. It was, it was definitely, it was a wacky movie. I, I really enjoyed it. But yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Uh, do you have any other movies that you'd like to talk about tonight, Greg, in terms of possession? Uh, talk to me. Haven't seen it. Really? I it's all I yeah, I'm waiting for it to come on one of the thousand streaming services I have access to. I uh, really I really like Talk to Me. Talk to Me was fantastic. I don't want to give too much away, but you know, these teenagers are like using this like the monkey claw, the I forgot what kind of hand it was, but they're using it as almost like a drug like to get possessed and it just shit goes off the rails. It's yes. for a movie. It's been on my radar for quite a while, Greg. Oi. <laughs> I really, I really enjoyed it. It's was, it was probably one of the better horror movies I've seen, other than like Long Legs in a little while. All right, I'm into that. Uh, I definitely do want to check that out. So, I know a lot of people are kind of iffy on Long Legs. It's it's bizarre. You either love it or you hate it, or you're probably not like in the middle with it. It's either a love hate thing. But I really enjoyed that, and I thought it was fucking badass. Nicolas Cage is great in that. Fantastic, even. Yeah, Nick Cage is the best. He could do no wrong in my eyes, unless he does like so many other countless actors have. Uh, Greg, I want to talk to you about a movie from 1998 uh, that you turned me on to. You might even have lent it to me or some shit. And that was Fallen with Denzel Washington. Time is on my side. Well, yes, it is. It is. That phone's great. Yeah, man. I mean, the the whole concept of the body jumping in that fucking movie was insane. Yep. And uh, definitely, it was a early fucking Denzel. You know, we didn't even know what he was, the the monster that he was going to turn into eventually. But that movie was fucking dope as fuck. He was in training that day. Ah, <laughs> good one, old chum. Thank you, John Goodman. You know, Johnny Goods. Oh man, speaking of John Goodman, not to uh, you know deter the topics, but I was asking my boss. I was like, "Is like, yo, Greg, say they're making an Odd Fellows movie." I was like, "Who's playing you?" And like, he's like, "Ah, oh, really? I don't know, man." Like, I started naming off actors. I'm like, "What about like Oscar Isaac or or uh, fucking?" Joaquin Phoenix. I was like, huh? Like, one of those two guys would be great as you. He's like, yeah. He's like, oh. He's like, I got you. John Goodman. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? And I, it's bothered me ever since. I keep just randomly walking by and going, John Goodman. <laughs> it's like, he's got jowls. Like, I don't, you know. My cast for Greg would be Will Forte. Oh, great. Great. At least back me up that nobody wants to be called John Goodman. I mean, he's amazing. He's a legend. I just don't feel like... I, I, would, cast, I would cast Seth Rogen for you. <laughs> Seth Rogen and Will Forte in a drama movie together. Oh, shit. Yeah, all right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring that up to the boss. Right. So, yeah, I mean, I mean, if you haven't seen Fallen, definitely check that shit out anyway. Uh, Greg, what's your next one? I want to talk about... The Exorcism of Emily Rose. Now, I couldn't remember if I've seen that or not. Oh, you need I feel to like see I it. have. I saw this movie in the theater with a boy, the King of Connecticut, the Razor Blade himself, 
In fact, I was sleeping downstairs in his living room and I was so scared. I went upstairs and asked him if I could sleep on his floor. That's <laughs> so I, horrible. So I slept on the floor. I might even like climbed up in his bed and maybe went head to toe with him. But I knew he had a razor blade, so you know I had to. In case Emily Rose's exorcism came after me, but that movie scared the shit out of me. And like, I'm not a huge believer of ghosts. One time I was at my buddy's house, and I thought I heard. I know I heard people walking upstairs, and I asked like, "Hey, what's up, dude? How you doing?" And then like he came inside, he's like, "Who are you talking to?" He's like, "I was talking to your brother." He's like, "He's right outside," and I was like, "Oh fuck." I'm out of here. You know, I left the house. I never came back again. You're a coward. Yes. Uh, so tell me a little bit about Ex of Emily Rose, and let me see if you could rekindle my thoughts on it. Starring Deb Morgan. Deborah Morgan from Dexter. Dexter? Yeah. No shit. Dude, she was, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, like, body contortion. Like, her body contortions were fucking insane like she's crazy in that she was absolutely amazing i mean i haven't seen it for such a long time but i just uh well she I, must have been young at that right she's she like was a kid. it was one of the first times i'd seen her um i definitely listened to because you run podcast hora does a review on it and i love it so i was like oh, i'm gonna listen to this and i want to say they said the same thing about the body contortion how insane she was can't remember if they liked it or not i think they did but uh yeah, I, I don't know. I love that movie. That was one of the scariest movies I've ever seen. It might have been the theater. It might have been, you know, I was feeling feeling vulnerable in Connecticut. And, you know, I needed the protection of the razor. He probably doesn't even remember us going to see that. I'm, I don't remember us going to see that movie that you mentioned the other uh, week. 310 to Yuba. Yeah, yeah. And that blows my mind because usually I remember that shit. Because I still remember seeing From Dust Till Dawn with Seamus and his sister at the Lilac <laughs> Rochester Theater. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not as memorable as Seamus and his sister. Right? <laughs> you, you are. That's no, what I'm I get saying. It. I just, I can't believe it. Uh, like that you're telling me this. And I love, I love 310 to Yuma. Same. It's a great movie. Um, best, best supporting character, Ben Foster. <laughs> Check out our last episode. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sure I've seen it. You know, I could, I, I, I looked at the picture box art and I was like, I know I've fucking seen that, but I couldn't remember a goddamn thing about it because I've seen so many possession movies. Yeah, I feel you. Uh, I like to talk about The Witch. Have you seen The Witch? I actually saw The Witch recently. Um, I think my friend Alex recommended it to me and I checked it out finally, but I had just, I heard it was boring. I heard mixed reviews on it. And uh, when I watched it, I fucking loved it. It was awesome. It's probably in my top 10 fucking, my my top 20 favorite horror movies. I love the setting for it. I love the fucking way it's filmed. I don't know, just the way that everyone got singled out one by one and fucking, uh, is that it what, it's, just, it's with Black Phillip, right? Yeah, dude. Yeah, cool. Best talking <laughs> goat. I, I think he won an award for that. Yeah, they featured him on What We Do in the Shadows. He was, he was, he was collecting semen for the witches. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it takes place in New England and, uh, you know, whoop, whoop. uh, I, I, I did read a pretty interesting theory on it that, uh, since they're wheat fields and shit, since they couldn't grow any food anymore on the farm, uh, that the wheat got ergot, which causes yep. halluc hallucinations. And, uh, they're saying that they consume that and that's kind of when shit went down. Yeah. You might've told me that, or I might've just looked it up. Who's the what? What other movies did that guy do? Because I know that director did another. Oh, that's uh, Eggers, Robert Eggers. Uh, Robert Eggers, yeah, uh, he did uh, The Lighthouse and The Northman. Oh, both awesome. That's what it was. It was The Northman. I didn't watch The Northman, dude. Watch The I Northman, know. it's fucking awesome. I, know. I started it, but then I was like, you know, this seems long. And it's got hope... Eric from True Blood, <laughs> bro. I know. Skaz guy. He's a Skaz God. I know Skaz he is, God. dude. Skaz God in it. Uh, yeah, actually, I didn't see either one of those movies. I know they're good, you know? But uh, I'm a busy what, guy. What was the first one you said again? I'm sorry. 
The Lighthouse. Oh, dude, The Lighthouse is fucking great. It's a trip. It's so, it's so insane. It's, man, what he does to that fucking seagull. Poor seagull. Steven? I don't know what the seagull's name is, but the seagull's like stalking him the whole time and eventually gets his hands on it and it's animal abuse to the, the very worst kind. So that's I not feel awesome. like uh making love not alive. No. He yeah. smashes that thing a lot. But what's his name is fantastic in it. Um Defoe, who's usually great in everything. Yeah, Willem Defoe's the shit, dude. Yeah. And Pat was it Patterson? Yeah, dude. Robert Patterson. Yeah, he was fantastic in that as well too. It was just I'm I mean sad. it was it was they were stuck in the lighthouse together, so you know, they would be like getting drunk, they'd be like dancing together, then like they'd be fighting each other and stuff. Then they'd like like be back romantically dancing, like it was not that they were like lovers or anything, it was just they were lonely. You know it what was... they should have done? Started a podcast. Actually they did. <laughs> fuck, deleted scene. It's called the lighthouse. Hey, fuck. Alright, Greg, what is your next pick? I want to talk about The Ring, 2002. Naomi Watts. You know, 12 days till Christmas. Seven, dog. Is it seven? It's 12. <laughs> 12 days is super generous, but it's seven. I, th- I think it's 12. <laughs> I think that's 12 monkeys. No, that's seven a good days. Movie. Is it seven days? Yeah, I fucking know 100% it's seven days. Oh, shit. 12 days. <laughs> no, that's the, that's the ring, too. It's seven times two <laughs> minus two. 12 The days. math checks. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, in seven and a half days, the girl with the sweetest hair comes out the well. She won't get ya. All those movies. I mean, The Grudge and The Ring are very creepy, but I don't know. The Ring. I've never seen the Japanese version. Ringu. Ringu. Ringo? I've Ringu. seen Ringo. He just canceled two of his shows because he's got, he's got a cold. <laughs> the, the common cold. And he's 84. Well, I mean, when you're 84, you get the common cold. I mean, it's going to get you. Rock stars used to be so much more badass, but go ahead. I mean, don't talk shit about Ringo. Ringo? No, Ringo Starr, the drummer. Ringo Starr. So, in 27 days, you get a phone call, (laughs) and basically they're like, yo, we're coming to get you in seven days, even though we said 27. And the girl comes. Seven days. Of course, it's got a creepy kid in it. Every possession movie or every horror movie has got to have a creepy kid in it. What the hell was that kid's name? He annoyed the shit out of me. Oh, uh, yeah. Was it Noah or some shit? She was like an this, asshole. With like stir of echoes like, I can't yeah. sleep there because of the feathers. <laughs> <laughs> but in actuality, that kid's like in his 40s because he's just one of those never age adults. Yeah. yeah. I'm creepy. He's from like Hook. He lives in Never Never Land, but not the one that Michael Jackson. I mean, that's similar Movie is a stir. Actually, I guess not that too similar. I would say Stir of Echoes is a similar movie where it's got a creepy kid in it. It's not. <laughs> it's yeah, they're they're not similar at all. That's that's like closer to like the Sixth Sense. Uh, yeah, I mean the Ring was great. It kind of defined a new uh, generation of horror. Gave us something that we'd never seen before. You know, that's I think that's kind of. I'm sure it existed in other movies. I know it existed in The Exorcist, but the body contortion shit, like we were talking about earlier, yeah, definitely gave took us something to believe in. And, it gave uh, us something to believe in. I mean, the sad part is, though, like uh, contortionist actors no longer being used because we just CGI in the contortion people now. <laughs> Man, I tried to do that, but I couldn't. I don't have the vocal range. You're crushing yeah. it, bro. Yeah, that was me, by the way, not Ryan. That's me in the corner. All right, let's just talk about The Conjuring real quick, Greg. Yeah. One and two, I liked. Fuck the Warrens. Okay. After, right. after I found out more about the Warrens, I was like, fuck The Conjuring, even though it was, it was a scary movie, for sure. What the fuck does that have to do with... I mean, I know it's based the movie's on... Because the movie's based on the Warrens. Okay, but it's loosely based on the Warrens. It's not loosely based. Yeah, because they're fucking liars. 
They ain't conjuring shit. They're fucking scam artists. And they're they're scamming you out of your wits. Bro, I'm not going to let you sit here and defame the good name of Patrick Wilson. Oh, Patrick Wilson's my shit. Yeah, dog. Bone Tomahawk. (laughs) Yes, Craig, we know you like Bone Tomahawk. It always comes back to Bone Tomahawk for me now. Uh... I don't, you know, yeah, I know the world pieces of shit. He's a great in Aquaman, too. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I mean, Aquaman 1. I've never, I haven't seen Aquaman 2. because that one Nobody's guy seen Aquaman That one guy too. got canceled. What's his name? Amber Heard. Yeah. I think Jason yeah. Momoa is canceled. No, it was, John, it was Jonathan Majors. Uh, why are we talking? What the fuck does he have to do with anything? He, he was an Aquaman, I thought, wasn't he? No, he wasn't in fucking Aquaman. <laughs> the fuck he wasn't. This conversation's over. Okay. Time. Patrick Wilson's the shit. Therefore, in by proxy, that makes The Conjuring a pretty good movie. And The Conjuring 2. The Conjuring 3 sucks. And it does a really good job of possession. All right? It made it seem cool. All right? Now everybody wants to be possessed because of Patrick Wilson. All right, Greg, uh, since you didn't want to talk about The Conjuring, uh, what's your next pick? We can talk about The Conjuring. I just wanted to say the fuck the Wilsons. <laughs> the Warrens. <laughs> Not the Wilsons like that. I love I love Patrick Wilson. He was I'm a Wilson. Yeah. <laughs> You're a Patrick Wilson, I know. Ooh. Fuck. Actually, I take my Will Forte back and I raise you, <laughs> Patrick Wilson, for Greg. He's just going to dye his hair. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good, bud. Yeah, let's talk about Micaiah Moore. It follows. Uh, I knew you were going to bring this one up. <laughs> Why wouldn't I bring this one up? I love that movie. It's fantastic. It's one of my favorite horror movies. I think it's super original. I mean, it's an STD. Get him. We always talk about It Follows, and now everybody knows that I don't like it. Except when the tall guy comes through the door. That part's really creepy. But I just said I didn't like The Conjuring because of the Warrens, not the Wilsons. Patrick well, Wilson. I don't like It Follows because it sucks. It doesn't suck. It's very creepy. What about when she's sitting at college? She looks out the window and sees that old lady just walking at her. That's creepy, too. You know who loves college? Asher Roth. Who's Asher, Asher Roth? Roth. What is this, 1997? <laughs> Actually, that was probably like 2001, 2002. He had that hit song, College. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. That's. All right. Well, let's talk about fucking. Did you watch Smile? I have not seen Smile. Kind of like it follows in the in the same way that you either love it or hate it. I liked it. So I guess it's not that kind of movie at all. I, I've uh, heard good things about it. I liked it. I mean, the, the beginning was fucking absolutely brutal. Um. And then I don't know, I'm really into the smiling monster people these days. Because I'm also, I just finished watching season one and two of From. A lot of smiling monsters. Now, did this smile movie make you smile? Not really. Hmm. (laughs) I I didn't like the end a whole, you know, the end kind of sucked. But kind of everything leading up to it was pretty alright, I mean. The creepiest part was in the trailer when she fucking flips her head upside down into the car window. That was pretty creepy. I've never seen that part of the trailer. You ruined it. Well, just fucking watch it. I know Jack Nicholson's sons in Smile too. Voices from the Mausoleum is your one-stop shop for everything horror. Join host Scott and Angel as they deep dive into all things horror. From movies, TV shows, books, and video games, nobody is safe. Bat down the hatches, lock your doors, and listen to Voices from the Mausoleum, another podcast brought to you by the You Run Podcast Network. Hello. Sick. Yeah, so smile. Uh, check it out, everybody, okay? A lot of you have, and most of you didn't like it, but I liked it. And uh, my opinion matters so much. It doesn't matter. All right, Greg. You any more you'd like to talk about? I want to talk about Hereditary. <coughs> Hated it. What? Are you serious? 
You know, how many times have we talked about Hereditary? You know, I fucking love Hereditary. Okay, well, then don't... Uh, listen, you know I have the best memory on the pod, but I can't remember everything. Second worst allergy in a movie. Uh, first one, obviously, being from My Girl. Ooh. That girl's in Veep. Oh, really? Yeah, she's pretty hot. No she's a- She's actually my girl. <laughs> now. <clears throat> my girl. Now. That's kind of a possession uh, show as well, too, Veep. I... <laughs> it's Julia Dreyfus possessing our hearts and souls, because she's hilarious. And everybody's Absolutely. fantastic in that mo- show, movie, show. It's got, it's got Toby in it. it. It's got hilarious side characters. The dude from Upright Citizens Brigade. Upright Citizens Brigade there, Mike Walsh, or Matt Walsh. Great show. Yeah, um, Ass Pennies. It probably handled my ass pennies. <laughs> I've definitely handled your ass pennies. What a time, of course. <laughs> it's like one of my favorite things to say. Uh, you shoving three dollars of pennies up your ass? Thirty. It's thirty dollars. Yeah, pennies. I know. I was trying to. I was trying to go low so the people in the go was too creepy. You are. All right, so what did you want to say about Hereditary? Just the title of the film, or... Yeah, I just wanted to say Hereditary, and then I wanted to talk about peanut allergies and ask who has them. (laughs) I thought everybody did a fantastic job in that movie. It was great, and that's another one that people either really love or really hate. I love it. (laughs) I don't understand how you can hate that movie. The sense of dread in that movie... Is so fucking there. It puts you like, I you're just like uneasy through the entire movie. There's no like relaxing in that movie at all. There's no fucking humor in that movie at all. It's just fucking brutal, and it's a great family drama, even with the fucking creepy possession shit aside. Uh, just that's a- pretty funny when that girl lost her head. <laughs> you didn't think so? <laughs> uh, you know I. Yeah, it's good. I could hear that sound in my head. Yeah. yeah, she was. Yeah, they were all like. So, is it a possession movie or is it a mental illness movie? No, it's a, dude, the mom crawls up the fucking wall at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Collette. She's yeah, she was amazing in that. From Krampus fame. <laughs> that's. <laughs> that's a great movie. I love Krampus. I don't know if that's what she wants to be known for, though, you know? That's Adam Scott's favorite movie. No shit. No. He's just in it. (laughs) Oh, you're fucking a lot tonight. Yeah. I'm all jacked up. (laughs) People hate a lot of movies. I've talked to people who hated Long Legs. People hate Midsommar. People hate Talk to Me. Like, you know. I loved all those movies. People hate It Follows. It's like, why do people hate so many movies? Yeah. We should, like, love movies. Like, without them, what would you even do? My head would spin right off my shoulders. I don't understand that. But... It was an exorcism <laughs> reference. Kind of. Spinning head and the the vomit. Absolutely, Greg. All right. Uh, let's just keep on going with this. I want to talk about paranormal activity, Greg. All Ooh. right. <laughs> I liked it, man. It did something new at the time. and uh, oh, oh, did it? It did not <laughs> do anything new. It was bullshit. It was it was a wannabe Blair Witch Project, and Blair Witch Project blew it away. I like Blair Witch Project better, but I'm not going to say there were parts of Paranormal Activity that weren't creepy as shit. Well, you know what? I haven't seen para- Paranormal Activity in a long time. I probably need to watch it again and, and, and get an adult perspective on it, because I saw it when I was a kid back when I was in high school. And I was like, it's on the radio. It's dumb. <laughs> It's mainstream. It's dumb. So I hated Paranormal Activity, and everybody was so obsessed with it. I actually want to say that I walked out in the theater on it. Because I was like, what the fuck? I was so pissed off at the ending of it. 
So we, maybe well, I didn't walk out. <laughs> maybe I walked out really fast when it was done. Yeah, first one out. Push yeah. some old ladies and kids aside. Get right my out. way! <laughs> yeah. Like George Costanza, running from a fire. Pushing Absolutely. old ladies, pushing kids. Well, I'm sorry you didn't enjoy that, Greg. Um you know? Yeah, something about it. I don't know if it was like the actors or, or whatever. But like that lady pissed me. The ending pissed me off so much. I don't know. I don't know why. But maybe I should revisit that movie. I want you to watch it again, Greg. I'm gonna keep an open mind and, and go back and watch it. All right. Well, why don't you want, at the same time? Why don't you go on Netflix? Wow, and check out the hit film Incantation. All right. I don't have Movies about what? I don't have Netflix. What do you mean? Everybody has Netflix. Stop joking around. Can I borrow somebody's code? (laughs) All I have is Amazon Prime and HBO Max at the moment. What the fuck? And PlayStation 5. Dude, I just got another, like, I just got MGM Plus or whatever the fuck. Who the fuck even has that? Who even has that? You're, like, working just to keep these streaming services alive. Well, now I'm obsessed with this show From, and I've watched season one and two, and three is just starting. New episodes on every Sunday on MGM+, Plus, and I'm like, I guess I have this until the show's over. Wait, what's that from? It's from From. Yeah. I see... Creators of Lost. Ew. And they have the guy, Michael, Man, from the lo- hit show Lost. You lost me. Main character. <laughs> I feed my dog from food, F R O M M. So she has a healthy coat. From. All right. Brought to you by it's From. Cool. <laughs> it's not brought to you by From. Um, you also have Tubi. Don't forget that, Greg. Everybody has Tubi. Tubi and shoes. A lot of soft core porn on it. Ooh. Yeah. If you're missing saxophones. In your pornography, Greg, you can watch it on Tubi. Only if it has the guy from Lost Boys. Well, I feel like uh, we're going all over the place in this episode, and um, that's fine, okay? I wasn't prepared for that kind of episode, but that's what you're bringing to the table today. It's going to be a fun edit. It is. It is. So, um, you know, everybody go watch Mayor of Kingstown uh, on uh, <laughs> Paramount+. Plus. All right, um, you know. Well, I, I like the Righteous Gemstones. Yeah, you can catch that on HBO Max, streaming now. <laughs> Uncle Baby Billy again, silly. All right, if you have Hulu Plus, you can stream the new season of uh, It's Only Murders in the Building. Oh, uh, yeah, you liking that as well? I fucking love that show. Really? I, yeah, I, I gotta go around with Steve Martin and Martin Short. And you now know. Selena Gomez has worked her way into my heart. Love Selena Gomez. I've always loved Selena Gomez. I love uh, Martin Short. I love Martin Short and Arrested Development. <laughs> Jack, turn. throw me! <laughs> no, when, I, when he's like sitting on, he's outside sitting on the balcony. And the guy, he's like, Uncle Jack, aren't you afraid you're going to fall off? He's like, no, I got I got thunder right here helping me out. He's actually, he's inside. He's like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> that is a great episode. Love some Martin Short. I, I forgot what the guy's name is, but he's like, swoosh me! In for a kiss! <laughs> and he's like drooling. He's like, ah, no! Don't shake me! <laughs> Holy fuck. All right, well, uh, what do you say we call it a rap, Greg? <laughs> I went, I went. Yeah, sure. It's like well, a... Do you have anything, any more movies you'd like to say the title of? Uh, I like movies. <laughs> I know there's uh, more possession movies I'm trying to think of, but I mean, my two of my favorites are talk. I love I love Talk to Me. Talk to Me was fantastic. I definitely recommend Talk to Me. I definitely recommend Exorcism of Emily Rose, Blair Witch Project, uh, Paranormal Activity. Have you seen that movie? It's amazing. Probably my favorite handheld camcorder movie that's ever been made. That's not Cloverfield starring T.J. Miller. <laughs> Is it starring T.J. Miller? No, he's he's just the... I remember when I first saw that, I was like, who the fuck is the guy on the camera? He's so fucking annoying. It was T.J. He's, Miller. Yeah, he's canceled anyway, so... Yeah. Sounds like, he sounds like he canceled himself. Yeah. 
Calling in bomb threats on a train that you're on will usually do that to you. Wait, what? He called in a bomb? I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, he was beefing with some lady. And he, I think he either said he has a bomb in his bag or he has a bomb in her purse or some shit like that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I thought he got canceled because he didn't because he was talking shit about Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> that will get you canceled. That's what days. I thought. You can't talk shit about Ryan Reynolds and live to tell about it. You'd be dead in a pool probably. Now, have you seen Deadpool Wolverine? I haven't seen anything. I just thought the only 2024 movie I saw was from last year. So <laughs> Yeah. You, dude, you need to watch. You can borrow my Amazon Prime. I got long legs. I think I might even have talked to me as well. How can I borrow your Amazon Prime? You just look it up. But I don't know if I want to do that because you need to start buying my soap. <laughs> and you start using my account and buy all sorts of things. I got boxes coming every day from Amazon, all right? Every day. I apologize uh, to the audience. I've been like editing for five hours straight, and uh, I just figured I would make this episode <laughs> really fun for you to edit. You know. <laughs> all right, we want to thank everybody for listening. Uh, you're all beautiful, beautiful people. Uh, obviously, we're repping the You Run Podcast Network. All right, we're working on that fucking movie coming out. All right. Um. Uh, Lots of great, great podcasts on there. You can check them out. There's going to be something in there that you like, I guarantee. Totally. Yeah, and obviously you can find us on all things podcasts from Spotify, Apple Pod, YouTube, all that stuff. And if you would give us a five-star review, follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and you know, interact with the show. We promise we won't make fun of you about it. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, it's Greg's fault. Yeah, and we're not we're not trying to fight Dewey Pod Monster either. I love wrestling. <laughs> it's like my favorite. I'm probably the ultimate warrior. Jim and Dewey. remember, and in crust, we trust. It's great. You think so? Stuff was here, I got the stuff was. I need a song, mystery, I got the stuff was. Stuff was here, I got the stuff was. I want to choose, I got the stuff was. Stuff was here, I got the stuff was.